Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 27, starting in verse 2. And it shall be on the day when you cross over the Jordan to the land which the Lord your God is giving you, that you shall set up for yourselves large stones and whitewash them with lime. You shall write on them all the words of this law, when you have crossed over, that you may enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord your God, uh, just as the Lord God of your fathers promised you. Interesting thing that you see many times in the Old Testament. God will do something really cool, and then whoever he's done this cool thing with, or to, he will command them, or they will voluntarily set up these giant pillars, or stones, or some kind of monument. And that usually it will also be accompanied with a name of some kind, which will mean something like, you know, the Lord was there, the Lord has provided, the Lord is my healer. Something along those lines. Because when God does something big in your life, the Lord likes to remind you of those things that have been done in the past. Those times when you saw His hand move. Those times when you saw how good He was. Those times when you were just shown beyond a shadow of a doubt, He's real, He exists, and He is active in my life. He's actively doing things in me and around me. And so often in the Old Testament you see these little monuments that are set up to remind the Israelites, hey, God was here. He did this thing. Now I'm not saying you've got to keep a journal or go out into the woods or into your backyard and find a big rock and start carving what's been going on in there. Not saying anything like that. But in your own way, however you choose to do it, it's good to make a reminder of some kind for yourself, whether it's a note, a journal, whether it's an item, or maybe just you know telling a friend or two and saying, hey, at this point, at this time, I saw God move. At this point in this time, I was shown this aspect of God, His healing, His righteousness, His holiness, His glory. As a reminder to yourself of how real He is, of how good He is, and sometimes of how his wrath is poured out on sin. Sometimes the fear of the Lord is a very good reminder. So make sure you remind yourself in your own way of what God is doing in your life. I love you guys and God bless.